So here I wanted to say a little bit about Elios's uh, chart, human design chart, a generator, profile one, three, split definition, circle authority, and the cross of, of Maya. So when I look at this, I see the split. That's the first thing I see. I see it's a generator that is here to work, to like function from the circle center, responding to life. It's like, you know, this is how you know if something is right for you. So you can start by like using it, for example, with food, like you put something in front of you. And if you feel like you want to eat it, you're going to have a certain feeling in your body. That's how you respond to life, not only with food, but with people, with situations. Your yeses and noes come from the body, from that gut feeling, from that inner knowing. Um, and you can say that your most important asset is energy. So every time you do something, you want to make sure that you're not drained, that you actually get something back, that you feel satisfied. Because when you don't use your energy right, you're going to be frustrated. So the frustration is a warning sign that you're not using your energy right. And to this, you have the splenic center that is about intuition and instinct. So you can trust your senses and your intuition that you're going to, that you're going to know what's right for you, what to you know, hold on to and what to let go of. Uh, when we look at the channels here, you have the channel of uh, between the 27 and the 50. So it is about caring. It is about, you know, kind of seeing the corruption in humanity, but like doing your your thing to to make more, to, to bring more equilibrium, to bring more harmony, to bring more care somehow. And we can see that at 50 in your case is super strong. You have it in Pluto. So it's part of your destiny, your soul destiny, to kind of bring a little bit more equilibrium, a little bit less corruption to this world. Um, and to put to bring light to that to that in the world and then you see that your stability your Saturn on both sides also have to do with that corruption and that actually you could kind of be punished in that that's how I say in normal astrology that if you don't follow you know your life if you don't follow your determination if you don't follow your inner you know, inner knowing your inner strength you could kind of be punished in that in the corruption in, in things not really you know being in integrity uh so it's, it's super important for you personally and like in the kind of a bigger sense what you're giving what you're bringing light to here that that's 50 so it's very very strong five four times and a, a channel um and it's from that authority inner authority of the circle that it's connected from and then you also have the connection up to the g center that is about who you are where you're going what love is you don't need anything er outside of you to know who you are where you're going or what love is and that's also connected to the sacral center so this is really your inner authority that works like with the intuition with the with the, with the flow with knowing who you are where you're going and to be able to be put in almost any situation and kind of get it and know how to behave and actually kind of empowering other because you have a kind of bold way of of being and you you, you seem like somebody self-empowered you inspire that in other people so that is really this is where you want to kind of exist from and then your head and your ashna becomes a superpower so you have you have like invention and you have inspiration and you have a lot of ideas and that is like super cool when you first function from your inner authority and you have that as an extra thing you could be you know you could you can really inspire people you can be somebody who who actually also creates silence because there is this kind of empowerment that is are going to inspire people also to not go, go kind of round and round and round in their heads but kind of open up you know but the important thing is to not just try to live from your head. If you don't live from your body, if you don't live from your groundedness, you're not going to be able to live with, like, live out this, un like, this unique, um, the, the, those activations, inspiration, and ideas that you have in the head and the ajna. And then the open centers are about being a bit careful. So, you know, make sure that it's your truth that you're speaking, that you're not seeking too much attention or approval from others. Or more attention, I would say it is through the throat center, and make sure that you don't like shift. You know, it can be cool to shift depending on who you're with, you speak differently, but also kind of make sure that it's your truth that you're speaking. <coughs> so you could have some like problems, feeling undervalued, not you know, not really knowing what self worth is, maybe kind of exhausting yourself to prove yourself. So be careful on yourself with that. You feel a lot when it comes to what other people feel you can kind of you know that so you could kind of hide away from that or you could like you know kind of trying to make things nice for others and you're here to like see the distorted emotions in society that have to do with turbulence with reaction with conflict with you know victimization desire 
well, that you're here to see it, but you're here to be wise about it and even maybe help people to, to purify and clear out that stuff once you understand it's not yours. So it's good for you to be like, if you feel kind of, you know, if you feel emotions, kind of go to be by yourself. And then if you still feel it, it might be yours. But many times what you feel, it's, it's not even yours. So kind of to know what's yours and what isn't is important. And then don't let people pressure you to be, to hurry, to be done with things. You listen to your own rhythm. That's important. So you don't like, again, kind of burn out through the pressure of, of that. You're much more about actually your own rhythm. And instead of, I would say it's important for you to get out of like your own expectations of yourself and the fear of failure. Those are two things that I see your soul in this lifetime really just wanting to kind of transcend. And that life is so much more about, you know, celebration. And, and it's so much more about if your life was a garden to know for you, what, what are you going to water? You know, what are the plants in your life, in your garden that you want to water? And what are the we, what, what are the things, you know, that you have to take? out so that the other plants can grow stronger so knowing what's worth preserving and what what you shouldn't give water to those are things that your soul want to do and then really just letting go of some of the expectations that you might have had and let life happen that's so important and then it's more about inspiration than about having i would say the exact answers and um, kind of letting the divine will you know divine will and and, and a kind of celebration take take your life and then when we look at the nodes it's very much about you are going to have a lot of ideas in your life and there could also be you know some kind of dark ideas you know in your life and and a kind of like you know vanity in people around you so you are here to kind of you know, find your own ideas that you think, that you feel like is going to work for the future. You have a lot of ideas and idealism and a lot of purity that comes from transcending, like comes from like not falling into that vanity, but finding your own purity. And your and also that's going to, well, so you're going to see what, what of your ideas later in life are here to be manifested in, you know, in the outer and I am not really, when we look at the incarnation cross, in your case, I feel like it's very simplified here. So I'm going to read it to you. Um, 62, the right hand cross of Maya. So it should be this one. Uh, you have great ability to discover and remember details. The details will be important in your life and you're driven to share them and remember that not always everybody wants to hear all the details and you could be very useful and great contribution to your profession so i agree that you're here to investigate that you're here to go deep in things that you're here to like you know see if things work or don't work and kind of trial and error but i'm i wouldn't say that it's so much only about detail i think this is simplified i really feel like you have you can tap into like you know kind of bigger stuff than details as well and you're a lot about celebration about and seeing what's worth preserving like i was saying before and that more than detail i would say that you can have precision in the way that you express yourself that's something that is true when you know what you're interested in you can be very empowered in that and very like precise in how you share it and that is super cool because that is going to make a great contribution to the world but i would make I would make my gene key profile if I were you and like read about your activation sequence because then you have these four keys, the 62, the 61, the 42, and the 32, and you have like, a, like this much of a text on each one of them, which can like kind of guide you much more, I feel like. So, and for a first line, you, you know, you could be a little bit like, what's in it for me? in your relationships you know or in your relating so kind of include others learn to include others uh, as well because that's going to make this celebration and what's worth having in your life it's only really going to show when you include others so that's kind of part of your challenge to not always be what's in it for me but kind of some just sometimes just go in for the play it's important so yeah let me know if this was helpful i would love to you know here and uh, other one one threes as well you know if you recognize this and and if you have a similar design so all comments are super cool thank you